This is Andy Two. In this video, I'm going to show you how to check and or set the timing of the disc driving worm wheel. Now, if you've been following the restoration, uh, you know that I've uh, washed, dried, and lubricated the machine. Um, I showed you how I lubricate the gear wheel on the disc driving worm wheel and a shortcut for removing and replacing it and in this video that's that's why I want to show you how to check or set the timing um, it doesn't happen too often that the timing is off um, but it it can slip and especially if somebody's uh, serviced or worked on the machine that that wasn't quite familiar with it and uh, if you didn't see the video for um, removing and replacing the, the, the worm wheel and uh, how to grease it, I'll put links to that below the video and links at the end of the video to that. So be before I show you how to, how to do it, I want to explain why. Uh, you know, timing the disc driving worm wheel is similar to timing the, the needle point to the hook point. Um, you know, they, they have to work together so when the needle is on the way up and the thread is dragging, uh, uh, well actually I guess it's the fabric would be driving on the needle thread, it forms that little tiny loop that the hook grabs. And if the hook is early or late, it doesn't, it doesn't grab the needle thread and wrap it around the bobbin thread to, to form the the um, lock stitch. So the disc driving worm wheel is to make sure uh, when you're in zig zag that that the needle is uh, going up and crossing the center line up at the top and coming down and going up and crossing at the top and going back. And uh, if your timing is a little bit off, it could be kind of crossing in the middle. Uh, and uh, when it enters the uh, fabric, it, it couldn't be, it wouldn't be at the right width. And if your timing's very far off, and even worse, the, the needle can cross the center line while it's down in the fabric, which is a big mess, right? <laughs> so that's why we, we want to be sure that it is time so it will cross at the top of the zigzag stitch. And I'm going to try and just demonstrate, uh, show you that uh, movement of the needle, try to kind of line you up on the center. So I have the needle in the center position and uh, stitch with five here. Try to go a little slow there so you can see how it it kind of peaks in the arc at the top and left, right, left, right, left, right, like that. Okay, so that's good. That's what we want to see. Okay, so I'm going to rearrange here the, my setup so I can show you how to check the timing and re reset it if you need to. Okay, so if you've ever set the height of your needle bar or uh, set the timing of the needle bar to the hook, you know a singer used a couple of timing marks on the needle bar. Well, in that, in that same way, Singer put a timing mark on the disc zero, which is the standard zigzag disc. Now, if you can see this little... It, it's like a little raised line there. Okay, that's your timing mark on the disc. And what you want to time it to is the follower that, that follows the disc. Uh, let, me, let, me put this, let me put this back in straight stitch here so I can move that needle bar driving arm out of the way. So here is the follower. The follower and this little post that you see that sticks up. Okay. 
and that's what you want the mark to line up with. So if you rotate your hand wheel towards yourself here at the front of the machine, you want to bring this timing mark in line with this follower post. A little bit more and there. Okay. So there I have it at the place you check for the timing. So I have this mark lined up with the post of the follower. Okay, and, and you can see that follower has a spring and it, it follows the pattern of the pattern cam in and out, in and out, and then it moves the, the needle bar driving arm to, to swing the needle at the vibrating bracket to, to make whatever zigzag pattern that you're sewing. So when you get this lined up, when you get this timing mark to the follower, your needle bar should be at the lowest position possible. Okay, so when you set it like this, you want to look at your needle bar and you want to make sure that it's all the way down. Okay, so that's how to check it. Your needle bar is all the way down and your timing mark on the fashion disc is lined up with the little post on the follower. And if that is all true, you're timed. Everything is fine. No, no problem. Go on to your next, um, you know, adjustment or whatever you want to do. But if it is not there, um, let, let's say that uh, it's, it's not lined up. Okay, then here's what we do to reset the timing, is we're going to remove this disc zero, the zigzag, and by the way, you have to use disc zero, which is that zigzag pattern right there, okay, and then we're going to, you would rotate your a hand wheel to get the needle bar all the way down. Okay, and then you would want to uh, take a screwdriver and you see these two little screws right here on top of the disc driving worm wheel. Those are called clamping screws and they, and they clamp down and they hold this a finger post that you line up with that hole. The hole by my thumb, that's that's how you know where to put the disc on. Okay? And those clamping screws hold it to wherever you set it. So we're going to reset it. Okay. So we'll just come in and we'll loosen these two screws like a turn. Okay, so, or maybe maybe I should call it a half turn. Let's see if a half turn will do it. You know, loosen these clamping screws. Let's just say one one half a rotation. So like 180 degrees. Let's see if this moves now. Oh, good. Oop. Oh, well, see, <laughs> that's why they don't want you to move it too much. <laughs> I have the machine tilted so I can do the video for you. You would normally just stand the machine straight up and do this. Once you have this loosened, okay, then you're going to put the disc back on temporarily, right? And keeping the needle bar down. Like I actually, see if I can move this a little. I actually, with this hand, kind of hold it down so I'm, I'm sure it's not going to move. And it's all the way down. Then you rotate your disc clockwise until that timing mark does line up with the follower post. So you just gently turn it 
like this and when you get it lined up just double check that your needle bar is still in the lowest position okay. now the trick is to pull the fashion disc back off without turning it just pull it pull it back off and then tighten those clamping screws back down uh, sorry I'm looking through the camera to do this tighten them back down securely okay so you're, you're clamping this positioning finger where you want it for the timing now you pop your fashion disc back on and then you verify that you know you didn't move anything that your your timing mark is still lined up with the follower and that you didn't move the needle bar and it's still completely down and now you have set the timing ta-da good job and not hard at all was it okay and uh, usually those screws come out pretty good I really have never had a problem loosening the I said come out but I should say loosening those clamping screws um, of course I'm usually if I have to change it I'm doing it after I've washed the whole machine but okay um, you know, of course, use, use your, use your well-fitting hollow ground screwdriver so you don't strip the head of those screws. But then you can, you can double check and, you know, I'll put it back into zigzag now. And you just make sure that, the, that it's, you know, uh, crossing the center line up at the top maybe if I do it by hand it would be better so here I cross and go left comes back up all the way at the top and then it's crossing over to the right and down I should have a needle but you you can see the needle bar I think goes up crosses to the right comes down goes back up at the top crosses to the left and that's that's uh, exactly what that timing that is made to do that's the that's the whole deal okay good job that was very easy I hope you'll you'll come in uh, tune in next time I'm going to keep doing adjustments like that now that I have the machine uh, all cleaned up and uh, uh, most of the parts book put back on so check back next time with me if you subscribe I think you get notified of uh, when I release a video but I try to do it Friday mornings and Monday evenings every three and a half days thanks for watching and take care mm -hmm.